Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the cat in the hat's hat. I take three fingers on the left at the top and I put a dot. And then I take two fingers on the right and I put another dot. I go back to my first dot and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up over to my second dot. Come back to the left dot and we're going to draw a slightly curved line in, out, in, out, and leave it floating. Come over here on the right hand side, we're going to draw a slightly wavy line in, out, in, out, and leave it floating. Come back to the bottom left, we're going to draw a slightly curved line again to the right and connect. Come back to the left. Now we're going to draw a curved line out, straight line down, curve line in, keep going all the way over to the right. Come up to this section on the right, we're going to draw a straight line out, curve line over, curve line up, and connect. Now I take two fingers and I put a little dot, two fingers on the left, put a little dot, two fingers on the left, put a little dot. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I think we need one more. Do I? Two little fingers and put a dot. Okay, come back to the first one down here at the bottom and we're going to just draw a slightly curved line up. Connect, come to the second one, slightly curved line up, connect, come to the third one, slightly curved line up, connect, and come to the last one, slightly curved line up, connect. Now, come over here on the left and put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a circle underneath baby triangle and now a wavy, wavy line. Come on the right hand side. Put a circle, baby triangle, wavy, wavy line, and if you have room, baby, I mean circle, <laughs> baby triangle, wavy, wavy line. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I did was I put a little red crayon mark so I don't get mixed up on which of my parts are supposed to be red and which ones are supposed to be white. The best way also to do it is think A, B, A, B pattern and also to just always start with red as your very first stripe. Skip the second one, do the third stripe. Now you're going to color way better than I am and you're going to color darker than I am. I'm making these kind of light. Skip the next one, color the bottom one red. So you should end up with the top red and you should end up with the bottom one red. If you didn't, don't, you might have either not enough stripes or too many stripes. But this is the way I did it. Okay? Next, because it is Dr. Seuss's birthday, that's why we added these balloons. So I did my bottom one green. I did my top one yellow. And I did my little side one blue. Now, because I wanted this to really look spectacular, I took my yellow crayon and I drew a straight line to every corner, pretty much straight, because in between I'm going to fill in with straight lines going all the way around my hat. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay? Let's see what this looks like all colored in. 
Okay, here is my cat in the hat hat. And Dr. Seuss's birthday is March 1st. And this hat is so iconic. You see it and you know exactly who it belongs to. Okay, bye-bye.